Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FPL Now. Today we're going to be going over a free hit draft for blank game week 30. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes. Leave a comment. What are you doing for game week 30? You're free hitting or you're just rolling with the players that you have. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, this is my free hit draft for game week 30. Now there is a lot of money still left in the bank, 1.9, and that is just simply because all of the premium players just aren't playing this game week. You've got the likes of Sun and Kane that are of course going to be in pretty much every single free hit draft. But apart from that, the likes of Salah, Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne, Ronaldo, none of these players are playing. So if you have a little bit of money still left in your bank, it's fine because there's literally just not that many expensive players that are playing in game week 30. So don't get to the point where you're just bringing in like the most expensive players in every single position that you just don't even need, uh, just simply because they're not all going to be playing. But anyway, this is what I've gone up with. Like you may as well just have a player in every single position. Like sometimes when you play a free hit, your bench just usually isn't that strong. But because you have the extra funds this week, you may as well just put like an actual player in every single position. Uh, but anyway, in goal, we've gone with Melier and Saar. We'll probably be playing Saar this week over Melier. Um, and I just think Saar is probably the best keeper to bring in this week anyway. Wolves have just kept two clean sheets in a row. Uh, they've got Leeds at home. Leeds obviously struggling. They did beat Norwich 2-1 though. Very close game. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, Wolves are probably going to keep a clean sheet th in that game. I have brought Rafinha in from Leeds. But you never know. He might get a lucky penalty. But that's why I've doubled up on the uh, Wolves defense. You could bring in somebody like Jimenez as well up top. Uh, instead of Lacazette, Tony or Kane. I just think these are the best not not necessarily the best informed strikers because Lacazette hasn't really scored many goals at all. I know he got a penalty yesterday. Um, but yeah, Tony's been banging in the goals. Kane's obviously been in fine form. Um, so yeah, they're the, the ones that I've gone with. But of course, with Huang potentially being injured, uh, Jimenez should also start that game. But we'll see what happens there. But anyway, at the back, we've gone Tierney, Saiz, Cash, Thomas and Regulon. Um, again, there are other options at the back here. Uh, I've gone with quite attacking fullbacks in every single position, though, apart from Saiz. So instead of Tierney, you could go someone like Ben White if you wanted to, if you don't have the funds for Tierney. But you probably will have the funds if you're on a free hit this week. Again, instead of Saiz, you could go Cody, did score um, in the last game. could go someone like Kilman if you want. He seems to be back in the squad. Saiz, I think, is about do a goal, though. Uh, we've got Matty Cash as well, who's just playing really, really good football at the moment, um, getting goals, assists. Um, and, and so, yeah, hopefully we'll get a few attacking returns turns brought in a lesser defender as well brentford at home this could really be any uh lesser defender you could bring in someone like a mate uh, obviously they've gone thomas just because he's a little bit more attacking um but you know you can kind of take punts on players on a free hit you know once you bring these players in this week they're out next week you don't have to worry about them ever again it's not like you're using a transfer and you have to deal with that player down the line um so you can take a couple of punts on a, on a free hit especially with a game week like this where it's just not going to be a high scoring game week you know there's not that many options Maybe you do bring in a player that not everybody's using just to see if um, they do pop off one week and you get a few uh, points on people. Also got Regulon as well. Again, could go Doherty if you wanted to. Could play it safe with Dyer, etc. Uh, it's just Sessegnon's out for, I think, a couple of weeks. So Regulon should be playing in game week 30 as well. So his play should not be up for rotation. And, uh, of course, did get an assist uh, in the last game as well. But, of course, Doherty is right there. Again, he potentially could get rotated. You never know with how Conte lines up his players. Um, but with the fact that Sessegnon is out, Regulon pretty much kind of has to play there. Um, but, again, could play it safe by going with Dyer or somebody instead. Uh, in midfield, we've got Saka, Coutinho, Rafinha, Barnes, and Son. You could mix this team up a little bit, and instead of Regulon, you could bring in, uh, I don't know, another Wolves defender maybe, and just triple up on Wolves um, and bring in somebody like Kilman or Cody. And then instead of Rafinha, bring in Kulusevski. Um, that is also an option if you if you wanted to do that. There's nothing wrong with it. it, it it's just a different draft completely. So, um, yeah, again, that is that is an option. Don't worry. Don't, don't feel like this is the draft that you have to use, obviously. This is just a template. Um, but, yeah, instead of Rafinha, because obviously Rafinha is playing um, wolves. So if you did bring in like, you know, you do have double wolves there. If you, it's not great having like your attacking players playing your defensive players, but when there's only like four or five games on, you can't really help it. Um, so again, Rafinha could get like a lucky penalty or something. They get an assist in the last game. Or you could, instead, you could bring in Kulusevski, triple up on Wolves and just hope that Leeds don't score, which again could be another viable option. Um, but then, of course, if Rafinha then goes and scores, you're going to be kicking yourself. But yeah, we've also gone Barnes as well. Brentford at home, again, potentially could get a couple of goals in that fixture. And then we've gone Sun as well. I mean, every single free hit draft this week is going to have Kane and Sun because they are without doubt the best players to have on your team this week. Best captaincy options. 
Um, if you're not on a free hit, you're going to want to have one of them anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, Sun has to be in this team regardless. And then we also have Lacazette, Tony, and Kane. Again, all scored penalties recently. Tony, I think he's got like five and two now, three of those being penalties. Kane just scored a penalty. Lacazette just scored a penalty. Uh, all penalties were like crazy good, by the way. Like these, these guys know how to take a spot kick. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but yeah, Kane, I think, is the best captaincy option this week. Um, West Ham at home. You know, West Ham, they're not necessarily struggling at the moment, but they have got quite a few injuries. You know, I think Cresswell picked up an injury. Obviously, Sufal's out, Bowen's out, Antonio picked up a hamstring injury. Um, there's just quite a few injuries on that squad, so they potentially could be there for the taking for Spurs. It is at um, Spurs as well, so might be quite a few points for your uh, Tottenham players in that game. Tony, again, uh, Leicester, leaking goals again. I mean, people are bringing in Tony anyway, just regardless of whether, like, regardless of the fact that he's playing in game week 30. They have Chelsea and 31, but then they have West Ham, Watford, Tottenham, United, Southampton, Everton, Leeds. He potentially could be a hold for the rest of the season if you are bringing him in, not on a free hit. Um, but yeah, that Chelsea fixture isn't obviously too good. But of course, all the players play again in game week 31. Um, and then hopefully some double start getting announced as well. I potentially would, if, you use, if you're going to use free transfers though, like I, I would roll because obviously we've got the international break. I think I'm going to roll like I have... Um, Digne in my squad and obviously he's injured now and so I think I've only got like eight or nine players now probably just going to roll a transfer though international break anything can happen I don't want to bring in players that I'm not necessarily going to use like I could bring in a Leicester defender which I'm not completely against because Leicester should be getting some doubles very very soon they still have two uh, three games to rearrange and two of those being Everton and Norwich so I do potentially want to bring in an, uh, a Leicester defender but again international break anyone could be back like Amate is obviously a really smart option because um, he's really really cheap he's getting every single uh, game because they just have no other options at the moment but at the same time when other Leicester defenders come back he's not going to be up for um he's not going to play so yeah I, I think I'm just going to roll the Digne injury is really really annoying um but it is what it is um but yeah that's kind of the free hit draft that I've kind of come up with right now of course we'll be doing like team selection and, and, and stuff like that and, and everything later on down the week but it is a bit of a weird one not a lot of games going on at this uh, this weekend at all that's for uh, that's for sure but either way it, it, it gets to that point of the season where you kind of have to you should have been kind of preparing for this you know if you're going into game week 30 and you're like oh god i've only got like four players like you, you knew about this blank for a while like if you've only got four players obviously use your free hit if you don't have a free hit there's not too much you can do it's it's not one of those game weeks where you want to be taking a bunch of hits because none of the fixtures are really that appetizing like they're just not like there's not that many good games on this week so it isn't really something that you're gonna miss out on a lot of points i don't think unless obviously some players just absolutely pop off it could be one of those game weeks where your arrow is determined by like one or two players. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be everything for the free hit draft today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes. Leave a comment. What are you doing with your team for game week 30? Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Until next time, 